Brooke Barron and I have been with OCT for a few years now. It's like a, it gives you more of an opportunity to learn to see if this is really what you want to pursue. There's no music in this key, so um, after Tina story. After Chris is amazing. He's really creative. Ideas just seem to like flow out of him. The focus is gonna be on her. I think you'll be in like a dim light. He really took a step by step. He told us, pick an inanimate object, give it a story, give it a background, develop that into a person, give it an age, you know. My character is Tina. She's m mainly apathetic. And she's just, she's really looking for love from her parents. You think you just not come home for a night and shrug it off? This is not okay, Tina. How can you miss it? Can't, can't you see me? I'm not happy. I really would like an audience to get an understanding of what youth goes, deals with today. I've gotten some really great relationships with um, the cast. The cast is amazing. Salad Days is a play about five teenagers and their stories. My character's name is Adriana and she really feels fake. Okay, any questions? Yeah, what are we doing? Can we be done? Yeah, your excuse. Okay. We first had to write a story based on inanimate objects and I picked a hibiscus flower, and so I wrote a story based on that. I've learned a lot about creating a show. It's really hard. I've never done anything like this before, creating a show. My story in Salad Days is kind of a personal story and kind of not. Um, it's about a kid who's look, who looks up to his brother and wants to follow in his footsteps and he's everything he's not and he wants to be just like him and he falls under the peer pressure of like drinking and smoking and it's like a rebellious teenage youth angsty thing. I think Chris is amazing. He's really, uh, he has great ideas and he's been more of a mentor than a director. He's been able to let us say our part. I really like that he takes in our ideas. I want the audience to be able to see what the teenagers are feeling because we got to write this all by ourselves uh, with Chris's help and so it's what we're dealing with what we see and since they're not teenagers in the 21st century or whatever this is then they'll be able to see hopefully and understand more of like what we're going through. A young girl at the party said that you forced her to drink alcohol. Is this true? No sir that's ridiculous. Did you know the girl? Yes, she's a very good friend of mine and it was her choice. Why are you drinking and smoking pot, Nathan? I don't know. I'm here to show you your future. <laughs> this is like the ghostly oh, noise. Do I make the ghostly noise? Yeah. Play with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to show you your future. We all made our own stories. Well, we started with like creating like an inanimate object or like something that wasn't a human. And I picked a lion, and somehow the lion evolved into Steve, which is my character. My character is kind of, kind of goofy. He tries to be like a 4.0 student, but he also wants to have every friend in the world, but only on the internet. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Can't talk right now. My spacing. Out of my story, I think that people should uh, realize that life needs balance. Should should I delete my MySpace? No, no, I I can't do that. Should, should I go read a I go read a book? It's a lot 
It's a lot more fun. It's a lot more involved than just getting a book, like getting the script in a book and then reading the lines. And like this time, we're actually making the lines. Um, what if you wanted to? What if you wanted to um, belittle her a little bit? What if you wanted to try and elevate his status by belittling, belittling her just a little bit? Not, not, not like, not like over the top, like being mean to her, but like subtly, just trying to be belittle her a little bit. So where do we have the boxes? Where do we have the boxes? I'm AJ Lesage. I have been acting with OCT for about four or five years now. Salad Days is a play, but at the same time, it's it's a movement piece. It's really an ensemble piece. Uh, you know, with all five of the actors involved, uh, myself included, we really we work together on everything that we did throughout each other's stories. We just built it from the ground up, essentially. My main character, uh, his name is Marty, and Marty is a junior in his high school, and he has a teacher at his school that he really looks up to, and this teacher introduces him to all these uh, charity programs that Marty volunteers for on his free time. All right, cool. Hey, Marty, you're going to the rally this weekend, right? The one for Darfur? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, uh, wait, I'm off topic. <laughs> what happens is the teacher is found out to be taking cuts from the donations, and Marty starts to really question, like, who is who and, like, being honest. What? Well, Look, Mr. Jefferson getting hot sort of threw things into sharp contrast for me. Chris took a completely different approach. We started off the first couple weeks of rehearsal, we did absolutely nothing except just movement exercises and ensemble building. And then we sort of started to get into characters, but just, just a little bit. And that approach was very different from anything I'm used to at all. In the black. That way you, they won't, you won't be... The reasons I do theater are because it allows you to, sort of generic, but really step inside someone else's skin. And not only does that allow you to see the world from a different person's perspective completely, especially when you're totally immersed in a character, but it also, once you find this character's journey, you're going to find a deeper perspective of yourself and of your own journey through life. My name's Chris Harder, and I am the director of Salad Days. What I, I sometimes call myself facilitator because um, really the actors, it's such a co collaborative process, and the actors are, you know, they're doing the writing, they're bouncing ideas off of each other. It's, it's scary and exciting and exhilarating to create a new play because you don't really know where you're going. There's just uh, a lot of risk involved in jumping up in front of people, kind of um, improvising, putting your own words out there and then performing them, uh, addressing issues that are, ch are hard to address. Um, and, I, and I think, um, I just think that's really brave. You know, that's, one of, that's what I love about it. Programs will serve as your tickets. We'll be opening the doors in about 10 minutes. You're welcome to hang out.